Oh, can you see me or? Yeah, I can see. That's crazy. That thing's way that way. Anyways, I'm sorry. Just beyond these tracks is um, basically where I where I used to live and where we started the crew or or the gang. Where I grew up, you often saw, I guess, the wrong people. And uh, there was always somebody, you know, smoking weed or some gangster walking down the street and always something would happen, somebody will die or somebody get shot. When I turned about eight, nine years old, my parents divorced. My mom was always working, so she was never home, so that would give me the right of way to just go all out. In this uh, old empty, abandoned parking lot, me and my old homies used to chill here. And we'd chill here because like cops would pass by and they wouldn't really see us because we're right behind the bushes. And uh, we'd just chill and drink or smoke weed. That led to um, messing with stronger drugs, which is like opium or shrooms and other stuff. And as we got older, um, we started getting into selling drugs and then that would make money. On a daily basis, I wanted drugs, you know? It was like, right after school, I needed to go get something or sometimes I'd even not go to school and just go, go get some, some weed or something or just a different drug just to try it out, you know? And I started getting in trouble with the law, with police, and then tickets started coming around and I needed to go to court and stuff like that would happen. I was in a, in a rehab program at the Dream Center, and, um, which is in Los Angeles. And uh, while I was there, they took us to a winter camp. I got saved there with the youth, and I stepped out and I just told Jesus I'd serve him. And then that was it. I went home, and uh, while living at home, I guess I had to live as the example. And my mom seen that, and when she seen that, she knew it wasn't a game to me, and she knew that I was serious about my relationship with God and, and being the light at, at home. Walking away from the crew, it was, it was hard. It was scary overall. Just one day, I just, I just told them all. I told them, look, guys, I, I drop. I don't, I don't want to be from the crew no more. I was just being honest with them straight up, and I told them that I was serving Jesus now. And they were kind of like, what? They didn't think I was serious. I just tried being the example, and they were like, wow, they, they really went crazy about that. Jesus is the answer, man. Just, it's, the, it's the true body. At church and stuff, it's a new fellowship of brotherhood, just like we were trying to do in a gang, except it's, it's the true thing, it's the real thing, it's encouraging, it's positive, it's, it's Jesus, you know? My life has totally changed because of Jesus Christ. Serving God is an opportunity for everyone, and it's free for everyone. It's just a choice we have to be willing to make.